everyone. My name is Elise Shorman and I work at the Santa Cruz Museum of Natural History. And today we are going to make spore prints. Do you know what a spore is? A spore is a reproductive cell. Some plants make them, but bacteria, algae, and fungi make them too. In terms of mushrooms, spores are to mushrooms like seeds are to plants. It's how mushrooms reproduce and make more mushrooms. Before we get started, let's take a look at a spore print. Spore prints are not only pretty to look at, but they can also help you ID your mushroom. The first step to making a spore print is collecting a mushroom. You'll want to bring with you a container to put your mushroom in, such as a Tupperware or a bag, so it doesn't get squished in your pocket. Mushrooms are an important part of an ecosystem, so don't pick the mushroom if it is the only one you see in the area. Only pick it if there are a lot of mushrooms around. Do you know why mushrooms are important? They are decomposers, which means they break down dead material such as leaves and logs to make soil. Also please follow the rules of where you are and make sure it is okay to collect from the area you are visiting. Please wash your hands after handling mushrooms as well. Sometimes mushrooms are hidden. Can you spot the mushroom in this picture? Once back home, you are going to need a hard surface to work at, such as a table, containers to place over the mushrooms, such as cups and jars, and white and black paper. Today, I only have white paper, but some mushroom spores are white and therefore will only show up on black paper. Place your mushrooms with the gills facing down onto the paper. Then place a jar over the mushroom to create an airtight seal. These mushrooms I collected have gills, but some mushrooms have pores. Here is an example of a mushroom that has pores. Now I'm going to continue to place all my mushrooms on the paper and put jars over them. You are going to want to leave your mushroom covered anywhere from a couple hours to overnight, depending on the freshness of the mushroom. Now it is time to lift up the jars and mushrooms to reveal the spore prints. What do you think this little mushroom's print will look like? The other two mushrooms had white spores, so their prints did not show up that well on the white paper. But you could still see the spores if you looked very closely. Can you see the white spores on the white paper? Now it's your turn to make a spore print. 